Yeah, ma'am. Uh, we didn't even what start. What happened to your team and what happened to the shape home? Yes. I didn't see the video. I had internet issues. That is okay. I That's fine. But I, I want to see your shape home. Where is it? Where is your shape home? I did not even receive it from Google Classroom. Friday. Come on, give me an answer quickly. What happened, Fazani, Kazi? Not cool, not cool, not cool. Okay, let's go ahead with the rhythm and the beat. What's a beat? Who will tell me what's a beat? The tune of the music. The tune the of the music. The, the, the music changes all the time in the song. But you okay, don't the, okay, yes. Yes, Fazlani, you can. Okay, and what's a rhythm? A rhythm is um, the way you say the poem. The way you read the poem, okay? The tune that you set in for the poem is your rhythm. Okay, that's the correct answer, Aisha. I have a video for everybody, okay? So we'll watch that video first, yes? And then we'll go ahead with the further discussion of what a rhythm in the poem and how to identify the rhythm, okay? How can you change different people can change different rhythm. And we'll go ahead and read the poem, poetry uh, or the poem in our text, all right? see the musical signatures at the top? Okay, rhythm is related to music. Yep, your guess is right. Rhythm can be described as the beat and pace of a poem. So, rhythm is the musical sound. What is the meaning of pace? Beat we all know. The tune of the song. Okay? Pace beat is the is tune the of the speed. song. How fast you go or how slow how you fast go. go. Very good. The speed, okay? The Pace speed. means the speed, okay? So, rhythm is a combination of both. The speed and the beat. And of a poem. Now, how is the rhythm filmed in poems? Well, Ma'am, I can't hear the video. It is not very good. A pattern of stress. Okay, what I'll do is I'll just check my volume. Mom, I can't, I can hear it. No, even I could not hear it properly. Um, speaker, thunder, come on, increase. Um, Okay. Headphone, microphone. Okay, let's we'll try now. Stressed syllables in a line or a stanza. Oh, these are too big for me. What are stressed syllables? Okay, now I can't hear anything. Now you can't hear anything. One minute, though. I can't hear a voice also. Now, can you hear me? Okay, how many of you all hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma ma okay. yes, ma Is it only Aisha Kazi who cannot hear me? Okay. Yeah, now I can hear. There was some problem. Okay, okay. No problem. 
the volume is loud of the video the video in itself is a little softer okay so you, we all will mute ourselves and we we'll mute ourselves and we'll only concentrate on what is being said in the video okay i muted myself and i have kept on speaking <laughs> anyway okay don't worry you're here you're at learn on the go so you will learn all about them now rhythm why does a poem have a rhythm while well, the rhythm can help to strengthen the meaning of the words and ideas in a poem okay now before we start learning about rhythms stressed and unstressed syllables let's learn about what a syllable is a syllable is the number of times you hear a sound of a vowel when pronouncing the words so syllables are the number of times you hear a vowel sound in a word a e i o a these are the vowels. okay let's try pronouncing syllables with a name so suppose if i have to tell my name i'll say alfia okay so i have three syllables i am making use of three syllables while i am pronouncing my name al it's a al fi e ya ya okay so i have three syllables which help me pronounce my name do you understand so there are three vowels that i use while pronouncing my name okay can you try this with your name ma'am um yes, ma Yes. Oh, ma'am, I finish. I finish. Yes, ma'am. 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 Yes, ma
Ma'am, like in yeah. the word syllables, uh, like why is pronouncing as I? I very good. Yes, Aisha, that's good. Okay, that's a very good example. So when I am pronouncing, when I'm reading a word, and it is sounding like a vowel, those words are called as syllables. Okay, I'm breaking the word into different syllables. Did you understand, Aisha? Aisha, yes, yes. Can you can you try it with your name? How Ma many syllables I will you know, use? Sha. Three. Three. Very good. Aisha. Okay, three words. Yes, I'm done. Ma'am, before vowels, you have to use a and an. Ah. And vowels. An apple. An elephant. And oh, yes, blue. yes, 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 definitely. An orange. That's When we say the word cat, when we pronounce the word cat, how many vowel sounds do you hear? Well, let me teach you a technique. You can clap to find the number of times you hear a vowel sound. All right, so cat. When you say the word cat, we hear only one vowel sound. So there is one syllable in the word cat. Now, the word banner. When we say the word banner, we hear two syllables. Okay, for the word banner, she's saying two syllables. Can we clap and do it? How are you going to do it? Oh. Very good, Tuveria. Yes, banner. Okay, therefore, it gives us two syllables. Okay, cat, one syllable, one vowel. Banner. Okay, two syllables, two vowels. Okay. What are they? We hear ban, ner, banner. So the word banner is made up of two syllables. One more, apple. The word apple. Come on, Ma'am, two syllables. Show it to us. Apple. Okay, apple. Yes, two. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we are right. All right. That has two syllables. Apple. What are they? Apple. Very good. Apple. All right. Now you know what syllables are. And we also learned that the rhythm of a poem is made by the pattern of the stress. what we what the video said so far first of all it started off with rhythm okay rhythm is nothing but the beat and the speed at which you read the book okay that is what is rhythm did you understand the meaning of rhythm everybody yeah is there anybody who has a question as to what a rhythm is you can ask me anybody has a question what a rhythm is no okay can i ask you a question Yes, ma'am. Yeah? Who will tell me what is a rhythm? My mind is Okay, go ahead. Rhythm of a poem. What is the rhythm of a poem? It is the speed at which you read the poem. It is the beat. You know, everybody knows the beat, right? In the last class, we did an activity with the songs. We could identify the beats. Yes, we know. Yes, Aisha Aga gave us few beats of the song. Okay, I gave you a few beats and you were laughing. It was such a fun class. Okay, so those beats, taking those beats and the speed at which you read the poem is what we call it as rhythm. Okay, and in the last class, you all also read the lyrics of the song with the rhythm. And you saw how different every person's rhythm sounded. Yes? 
Yes or no? Do you remember? Okay. Now yeah. we are learning, we are trying to understand in detail what rhythm is. Over here, rhythm is, uh, they are saying that rhythm is the way you use your stress and unstressed syllables. Okay. So right now we just understood what are syllables. Okay. Moving ahead, we are trying to find out what are stressed and unstressed syllables over here. Okay. So this is what it is talking about. I can go a little back and start the video. If everybody can mute themselves and try to listen very Man, can carefully. You start from, can you start it from rhythm is created? Uh -huh. Can we mute ourselves? Umar, there is a disturbance in your background. We also learned that the rhythm of a poem is made by the pattern of the stressed and unstressed syllables in a line or in stanza. Now we're going to learn about stressed and unstressed syllables. Alright, you learned what syllables are. Now, we also learned that words may have more than one syllable, like the word banner. That's ban -ner. so two syllables. The first is ban, the second is ner. How many of you all can not hear? Ma'am, the I volume thought... is very low. The volume of the video is low. Can you increase the volume of your headphones? Try doing that. Yes. Ma'am, on it, sir. In words that have more than one syllable, one of the syllables is pronounced more strongly than the others. Remember, in words that have more than one syllable, like the word banner, we pronounce one syllable stronger than the other. We say that this syllable is stressed. Okay, now in the word banner, there are two syllables. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So we call that as a stressed syllable. What do we call it as? A stressed syllable. Can you do that with your name? Um, Ma'am, I did not understand what is a stressed syllable. Okay, I'll explain myself. Stressed syllable myself. is the one you you is a syllable you say the most uh, like strongly. The most Strongly. More impactfully. No, okay. I, uh, on my yeah. name, I say the ah. Uh, uh. Ah, okay. So, ah. Uh, Sha. E. E. No, like, no. Ah, e. E, e, I'm saying very like this. Ah, uh, E, Sha. Okay. Let me try. So, it's I'll, uh, e, yeah. It's fee for me. Okay. So, in my name, the fee is a stress syllable. Okay. Juveria. Juveria. Ju. Juveria. 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 I think none of your syllables are stressed, Juveria. <laughs> I don't know. I, I am very stress-free. Ah, you are stress free, you are unstressed syllable girl. Yes, da, me, da, da. Okay. I think stress. I think that da in your name is a stress. Yeah, syllable. Ma yes, woman, and in, in my, my name, name dan. dan is, I think, stress. Um, dan, yes, dan is a stress syllable. Very good, Hamdan. Okay, woman, try That's your name. There are two syllables, right? Uh, Ma'am, what is my name? 
Umar. U. I think O is the stress syllable in your name. Umar. You, you, if you say it, then it's light. But if you, if you say it properly, like it's O, Mar. So O is the one that I'm strongly saying and putting more impact on. Therefore, it is the stress syllable. Hamza, go ahead. Ma'am, in my name, what is the stress syllable? We come to that. Your name is Aisha. Aisha. Again, I think it's E. You know, it's the syllable E that is strong stressed in your name. Okay, Hamza, let's try with your name. Hamza. 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 Hamza, you are unstressed. You are just like Juveria. <laughs> unstressed syllable guy. That's good. Okay. Humera, let's try with your name. Humera. Who? Humera. Yes. So, in order to say who, it takes quite a work. You know, it takes a lot of work to say who and me ra. Okay, so it's who, me, ra. who. Humera, in your name, it's who. The syllable who is a stress syllable. You know why? Because we say it loudly and we say it with impact. Okay? So the word, yes. the syllable who in your name is a stress syllable. Have, have, has everybody understood what a stress syllable is? Yes. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. Yes, ma'am, understood. Okay. Perfect. So the syllable that you pronounce strongly is called the stressed. Like in the word banner, we say banner. So the first syllable ban is strongly pronounced by the other. So that is the stressed syllable. Let's look at one more example. Apple, alright? Come on, tell me, tell me. Apple. App. Apple. Very good. Yes. Apple. 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 Okay. Now, when we pronounce the word apple, we pronounce it as apple. So we stress at the first syllable and we pronounce it as apple. We don't pronounce it as apple. That's wrong. So when you pronounce the word apple, ap is stressed, apple, pole is unstressed. So when we say easy peasy lemon squeezy, yes, yes, move ahead. So now, easy. did yes, you finally understand what's a stress and an unstressed syllable? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, but yeah, it was so easy. And an unstressed syllable. Now. How do this help in forming the rhythm of the poem? Let's see. Here we have a little poem. I had a cat who was so fat. He did not sit as he did not fit. Okay. Now let's see the stressed and unstressed syllables in this poem and how they create rhythm. Here we are. I had a cat who was so fat. He could not sit as it did not fit. Now, the words in green are stressed words, words that are stressed, that have stressed syllables. Now, can we, can we clap and create a beat for this poem? Okay, like, I had a cat. So on every syllable, you're gonna clap. Okay. Okay. I had a cat who was fat. He could not, what, what was it, he could not? Okay, okay. So that's that's how we go about. It. So these are the syllables that we identified. Now you tell me the green ones she's saying are the stress syllables. Is it correct? Yes, ma'am. Yes. The green one has stress. Okay. Had. Yes. Had. 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 Fit. As he did not As he... All right. Listen to the rhythm that I read the poem. I had a cat who was so fat. He could not sit as a did not fit. Can you see how the rhythm is created by stress syllables and lines? All right. 
As we finish reading this poem, then you can tell us later. Okay. Uh, tomorrow is Friday. Am I supposed to remember something? I 
Are you sure? Why didn't you tell me what is can you guess what is tomorrow? Friday. Yeah, but uh, Aisha Aga. Where is she? Oh my god. Okay. Birthday girl. Hmm. Alright. Okay, let's get started. Dancing for Isiana. Do you have it with you, Tanya? The poem starts with fire in the treetops. Page number 44. For the ones who have the textbook, uh, the poem is by Telson Turner. Oh, alliterative word name. Telson Turner. Turner. <laughs> Come on, fire in the feet up, fire in the sky, blossoms in it, that's a light, uh, sunset. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, 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 that's the one. Dhania, let me know once you've got it. So, Mom, Poesiana, not get it. It's a flower. It's a flower. In, uh, in, in Hindi, in Hindi, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. In Hindi, Plan? we call it as Gulmohar. Okay, the flower. Oh, that called yellow gold. flower. Okay. No, uh, that yellow flower is called Genda. That's uh, very gold. Ma'am, is the bust line like this dancing with the flame, a fiery like that is? No, no, no. The starting line is fire in the treetops, fire in the sky. What page number? Forty-four. Forty-four. Page number forty-four. Humera, are you there with us, Humera? I can't see you, beta. Why? Humera? One minute. Okay. Dhania, waiting for you. All right. The name of the poem is Dancing Poesiana by... Telson Turner, type this in Google and you'll see. All right. I'm going to read the poem, everybody. You're going to listen to me silently. Okay. Let's go ahead. Dancing Poesiana by Telson Turner. Fire in the treetops, fire in the sky. Blossoms red as sunset, dazzling to the eye. Dance Poesiana, sway Poesiana on a sea of green. Dance Poesiana, Sway Poesiana, regal as a queen. Fire in the treetops, fire in the sky, crimson petals and whites, stained with scarlet dye. Dance Poesiana, Sway Poesiana, on a sea of green. Dance Poesiana, Sway Poesiana, regal as a queen. All right. I tried my best to create a rhythm for your poem. Ma I tried my best to stress on the syllables. Yes, Homero. Which page number? I didn't listen when you did. 44. Ah, page number 44. <laughs> okay. All right. So, it's 45 almost. We'll stop here. We've read the poem Dancing for Isiana. But I have a very, very small homework for you, an assignment. You can do it in your textbook. I want you to underline the stressed syllable in this book. Okay? Everybody. You will finish this assignment in two minutes. I want everybody. Yes. Ma'am, I didn't hear what you said. I'll repeat myself. Everybody has to underline the stressed syllables from the poem Dancing Poesiana. Okay? Yes? That's the homework. Tomorrow morning at 10 when we meet, I will you ask you underline. for the yes. I'll ask you for the stress. You have to underline. You have to underline the stressed syllables from the poem Dance Poesiana. Okay, Juvelia. Maybe I don't have time for three jokes, but could you tell me one joke before I leave? Well, if you go to a robot. Thank doctor, you, Aisha Kazi. Yeah. If you go to a robot doctor. And if your head, if your brain is damaged, what will the robot doctor say? Mental breakdown. 
No brain. I need to fix your brain. No. He will make. Uh, he will make his brain all mechanical. Brainless. No. Ah. <laughs> uh. Memory card. I'm dumb. Dumb. He will put a memory card. The doctor, uh, the robot doctor, will say something. What will he say to you? If your brain is damaged, brain corrupted, corrupted brain. I have to fix your brain. Oh, format, format. He'll have to format your brain. <laughs> no, I have Close. to fix your brain. Okay, pass, pass. I give up. I your central processing unit is damaged. <laughs> okay, our CPU is the brain of the computer. Oh my God! Stop cracking such ridiculous jokes in you, my class. <laughs> you see? <laughs> okay. I mean, okay. you see, a uh, Mandalorian na dead they say. It's a robot. Star Wars. Oh. Ah, Star Wars. I have only heard of Star Wars. I know. I know the Jedi. <laughs> That's it. Okay. All right, everybody. It was a good class. I really enjoyed this class. Thank you for being good kids. Uh, bye bye. Take care. I really hope you do your homework. Okay. Uh, Dhania, I don't know if you are there on the group, right group, but I want one person to volunteer in sending a picture of the poem to Dhania. Can somebody do that? Okay. Yeah. I'll do it. I'll okay. Tell Thank you so much. I'll tell Thanks you. We so will post this in Google Classroom. Uh, should I post it in Google Classroom? We are going to discuss it in the next class. No, we have to. It's not, it's not required, Omar. Okay, you remember this assignment and you get it done now, and it will hardly take you time. Okay, bye bye, everybody. Take care. Have a good day.